See, I get the copper terminal really, really hot on the fire. I'm like even starting the thing on fire a little bit because I touched it on the deal. I get that really, really hot on the fire, right? Then I'll let that sit there. We'll take the soldering iron. And I'm going to connect the solder right to the copper because it's really, really hot. It'll actually connect itself to the copper. It'll go right into the copper. You'll see there's even copper on the end of this. Might be kind of hard to see, but there's actually copper on this. Uh, so it's kind of melding the copper together with the solder is what it's doing. And this is how they do pipes in houses a lot of times if you have copper pipes. You have to sweat them together with copper. And usually you do that with a torch. But I just, on this kind of a job, I prefer to just uh, do it with a, a soldering iron. And get the, get the terminal good and hot first so it'll actually meld with the, the metal, you know, and combine with the metal. So you're not just wasting your time. You want it to do some good. It's not just sitting on top of it. It's actually... Connecting, you know. So once you do that, then you put a bunch of it in there. And it tins into the wire. And I don't know if, if you guys don't know what tinning is. When, as soon as you touch the solder to this wire, it, it starts to turn the wires silver. Not only is it sitting on top of it, it's actually combining and, you know, uh, surrounding those wires. So it turns the whole thing into one solid mass. I don't know, maybe some people don't understand that or how that works, but I guess hopefully with this little video, maybe some of you will get an idea. Uh, and then I'm going around at the bottom of the sheath right here, and I'm also filling in the bottom of the, the bottom of this. The sheath is actually melting into the solder. That's interesting. In the kitchen. What a mess. Oh, well. Definitely burn it up good. <laughs> wow, I can't believe how hot that is right by that stupid light. The LEDs in there. Anyways, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and, and run it down this side too. It's like a snake, it doesn't want to sit still. There. Now I can do it maybe. I'll run it down this side too. There, I got a lot of the uh, solder in there around the thing so it fills in underneath the gap. That was my whole purpose with this whole thing. Just to get it filled in under the gap of this thing where it, when you smash it. Nobody seems to like that. You can kind of see some of the tinned, tinned wire there, maybe. No, you can't because it's dark.
anyway. See the little spot there that can heat some more. Yo. Both be good now. <laughs> 